Escape from the Fire, a fantasy adventure by Richard Brown, series editor Louis Fitch. You can find the next chapters of this book in the videos on our channel. London's Burning London's Burning, London's Burning Fetch the engine, fetch the engines Fire, 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 fire Pour on water, pour on water Chapter 10 No Luck Look at the moon, said Toby. The moon was red. A cloud of thick black smoke passed in front of it. The boys saw an empty boat and ran towards it. They soon discovered why it was empty. The man wanted a lot of money for his boat. Toby's mother did not want it to pay. Toby, she said, go to Uncle Oliver's house. Ask him to bring his boat down river to pick us up. But what if the fire reaches here before we get back? Toby asked. Just go, said his mother. Hurry up, please. I'm coming with you, said Robert. You don't have to, said Toby. You can go back to your own home. Now, if you want, you will be safer there. Robert turned to Lucy. He's right. We're in great danger here. Granddad will be worried. Shall we go home? Lucy shook her head. I'm staying here with Molly to help her mother. She said, but you go if you want. I'll stay if you're staying, but if things get too dangerous, promise me that you will go. Don't wait for me, I promise, said Lucy. By now it was dawn. As they laughed, looked back, the boys could see the glow of the fire above the roofs. They hurried away from the choking smoke and ash. It was quieter in this part of the city. People looked out of their windows to see what was happening. They did not look worried. The fire will never spread this far, they thought. All their houses will be burned down to the ground, said Robert. I feel so sorry for them. No one looked at Robert's jeans and t-shirt anymore. Now that his clothes were black with dirt and ash, they did not look any different to Toby's clothes. For nearly an hour, the boys hurried through the city. When they reached Uncle Oliver's house, they knocked on the door. No one answered. They knocked and knocked until a window opened upstairs and a servant girl appeared. The master and mistress have gone to your mother's house, she said to Toby. They had heard about the fire in Pudding Lane and they went there to help when they turned when they, when they return, Toby said to her, Tell them that Molly, Mother, and I are on the river bank near Black Raven Alley. Tell them that Mother is ill and Father's away. Tell them to bring a boat and tell them to hurry. The fire is spreading quickly. I will, said the servant. Do you want to come inside? No, said Toby. We haven't time. We haven't time. Shall we? What shall we do now? Robert asked. Let's see if we can find Uncle Oliver and Aunt Bess, said Toby. But the boys did not see them anywhere. 
in Thames Street. Every house and shop was on fire. It was too hot and too dangerous now. The boys ran from the fire as fast as they could. 